Hey everyone, it's me Barb and I'm here today to show you a quick trick for getting easy memories in Disney Dreamlight Valley. Now, when you're playing this game, you will spawn these memories as you do various tasks in the game and they fill out images for you in your collection tab. So if we go ahead and pull up our collection tab and pull up memories, um, you can see there's certain ones that we have that are full screen memories and this says like unlock by progressing, um, things like that. And then you'll see there are these ones that have multiple fragments. So these ones for Wally, if we look here in our collection tab, it says find exclusive memory pieces when digging. These are one gardening. This is one fishing. Night thorns, cooking, and let's see, go down. I think Moana has one. Find exclusive memory pieces when watering flowers. Um, this one's gardening. Cooking, fishing, feeding critters, gardening, watering flowers. So there's quite a few of these that you get just from watering flowers. Now, if you put a bunch of flowers in your house and you just water them, you spawn memories. Now. I wanted to figure out with this trick if it mattered what flowers you're watering and if it mattered if you're just watering the same one over and over again, how long it actually takes because I've seen people posting pictures online and you just see like all of these memory um, spawned on the ground and I was like, well, how long did it take him to do that? <laughs> because when I water one outside, I very rarely get one. So what I found so far is it doesn't necessarily matter what flower type but the size of the flower matters a little bit because the more flowers you have in place in one area, the more flowers you can water at one time. And each flower you water seems to have a chance to trigger a memory spawning. But when a memory does spawn, it seems to only spawn one memory at a time. And I've noticed it takes anywhere from 5 to, to 20 plus waterings to get one to spawn. So let's try this right now. We're just going to... Water these little flowers over here. These are daisies and I think falling penstemons I have over in this area. We're just going to keep watering. I think we're on water five, six, seven, eight. It takes a while, but all those memories over there I got in about a half hour. I lost count. There we go. We got a memory. Let's keep going until we get another memory. Okay, keep going, keep watering. And you'll see these add up pretty quick. Now, another thing is uh, you don't need as many flowers placed as I have placed down. This is just me experimenting. You just need a little pile of a few flowers really close together. You just wanna, there's another memory. There we go. Um, you just wanna be able to hit as many flowers as possible with your watering can. And you just keep going. Uh, you do want open floor space for your memories to spawn because if you don't have open floor space, they'll have no place to go. So, real quick before we water anymore, I'm gonna pick up a few of these flowers off the ground, give us some more space for memories to spawn. And pretty quickly, we should be able to fill up a good portion of this room with memories. And I have seen people online uh, specifically recommend daisies and penstemons. Um, I don't know if that's just because they're smaller flowers, but these bigger flowers, um, I did find that it seemed like it took a little bit longer for me to spawn a memory. Uh, they do spawn memories, but um, the smaller flowers seem to be more effective, at least in this little test run that I've been doing. If anyone has any true actual information where we know for a fact, that uh, certain flowers need to be watered or if it matters if they're bigger or smaller or any tricks, let me know. Um, the other thing with this trick is you can see up at the top, I've just been spam watering these flowers. My energy bar does not go down. So you can just pick an empty room in your house, toss out a bunch of flowers, get watering them. It does seem for me once they start spawning memories, um, they seem to spawn them a bit more frequently with the watering. So like here, like I'm on like watering number 10 already. We don't have a memory. And earlier you saw we popped out three memories within like 10. So if you don't have any... Oh, there we go. There's another memory. So let's keep going. And let's see. 
how long it takes us for us to get another one. And the only other thing really to keep in mind with this trick is it is only going to be spawning memories that you get for watering flowers. So it's not going to give you other memories like you saw on the collections page. You have one specific to other certain tasks. But at least this will let you... Oh, there we go. We got another one. At least this will let you spawn memories for flowers super easy because I don't know about you, but watering flowers outside is not one of the tasks I actually tend to do. <laughs> I tend to uh, dig. Uh, I tend to garden. I tend to go mining. Um, like, I progress the story, of course. Like, all these other things they say in there to unlock memories, I tend to do. But watering flowers is not one of those things. Yeah, it seems to be really just random as to how many times you have to water, but... I mean, it's not bad just to sit here and spam the watering can for a bit to get all of those memories. Because otherwise... I don't think I would have got these for a very long time because it's not part of my daily gameplay to go water the flowers. I just don't really do it. I let them get watered by the rain, uh, live their own wild life, do their own thing. But um, yeah, you can get a ton of memories. Uh, just keep in mind it is pretty random. Like you can see this last bit, we've watered quite a few times uh, and we haven't got any more in a little while now. Just keep watering. They'll keep spawning. Um, unless you fill up all your possible memories that you can pick up. And then they won't spawn anymore. Because if you do not have any more memories you need, they're not going to keep appearing. So, uh, yeah. I hope that helped. And at least you guys can get some flower memories to spawn and fill out your collection. So you don't have to go wandering around and watering flowers out when you're playing. It takes one more thing off your checklist. So, if you found this helpful, do please like and subscribe. Um, if you also set it to turn your notifications on when I go live for streams, it should notify you, uh, hopefully. I know YouTube's a bit weird about that. But, uh, thanks uh, for sticking around. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and enjoy playing some Dreamlight Valley. Bye guys, until next time.